Hey, hi, hello, it's me, Carmen, and I'm an onion in Alaska. And uh, it's officially fall in Alaska, so it's starting to get cooler. Um, not cold yet. I think this morning it was like 52 degrees when I got up to, um, for school time. So today we're going to be making homemade bread. So it's going to be more of a no-need style bread, not like um, the type of bread that my mom and I would make. Um, and sell or like the hot cross buns so was a little worried about you guys with that hurricane Humberto coming but then I saw that it was like a category two and I was like oh well you know concrete block houses with reinforcement rods and cement you guys will be fine hopefully it'll peter out before it even gets anywhere close to the island so I'm gonna show you our ingredients and we'll get started so for this recipe, we're going to be using the active dry yeast. I have used the um, the instant or rapid rise or whatever it's called. And my children thought that the bread tasted differently. So we're going back to active dry yeast. Um, we're going to use milk. Um, there is some water. If you guys know me that whenever I'm baking, if there is water in a recipe, I'm going to substitute part of that water for milk because I think it gives better flavor. There's going to be some sugar some butter, definitely salt. Um, we're making our own bread, so whenever you do that, you can take a regular recipe and just add in a half a cup to a whole cup of whole wheat flour to make your bread a little bit healthier and fortified. I'm also gonna put like some bran flakes in and we're gonna sprinkle some uh, sesame seeds and some oatmeal on top. Here's our two tablespoons of butter and we're going to put those in the glass bowl and then zap it in the microwave to melt it. You could use vegan butter but come on you're going to put yeast in it so it's not truly going to be vegan. To that we're going to add one cup of milk and one cup of water. So to this you're going to add your sugar because sugar is considered a wet ingredient. We're not going to add our salt right now because we're going to add the salt right into the flour. So in a separate measuring cup, I'm um, measuring out my flour. You want it a little aerated. You don't have to sift it or anything. You just don't want it real dense. Okay, here's that one cup of whole wheat flour that I was talking about. Done. So on top, just a sprinkle of the goodness, right? The oats, the bran flakes. Children won't know it's in there. They'll eat it. It's good for them. So we've got the salt. I used two types. So that's the... Um, Ionized salt and I'm also going to use some pink salt. A few good grates of that just because it has nice flavor and I feel like maybe it's better for you. I don't know if it really is. So that's the dry ingredients. We're just going to warm up the wet ingredients. This is where if you were doing some sort of flavor you could add it in now. Like if you're going to make like a garlic flavor bread you could put in like some garlic granules and then add like some fresh garlic in but we're not going with that. We're just going with you know traditional kind of. So I'm sprinkling the one packet of yeast in here. Remember this is our mixture with the butter, the sugar, the milk, and the water. So you want this a little bit more than warm. You don't want it so hot that it's going to kill the yeast. Um, you want to start up a little bit. You don't want your sugar to just cake on the bottom. And then we're going to let this sit for 10 to 15 minutes until it gets foamy. I might just stir it a little bit so that all of the yeast is saturated. Okay, so it's been 13 minutes. And you can see that the yeast has gotten nice and foamy. So we're going to start incorporating our dry into our wet. So I'm going to use a spatula. Um, you could very well add this in with a wooden spoon. I have done that at times. Maybe I'll keep a little bit back. Okay. And just kind of gently fill this in for a little bit. See if we can fit all that flour in there. So this is our dough. We used all but about a quarter cup of that flour. And then you could take this out and like put it in plastic wrap, which I don't usually really use. Wash this bowl out and oil it and put it back in there and rise. But I think I'm just going to let it rise in there. Why dirty up another dish? Okay, so we're just going to cover this um, dough with a tea towel and let it rise for eh, one, one and a half hours. I like to let my dough rise in the oven because I feel like that's the warmest place. Probably no matter where you live, that might be the warmest place. Okay, so as far as special baking dishes, do I have any? No. I use either this pot with um, with a pan over it 
or I use this pan with a stainless steel bowl I have over it and we're going to use some parchment paper. So when I've done it with the pan, I have put the dough in the pan, put a rim of parchment paper inside of this bowl and put it in like that for most of the time and Bob's your uncle then I take it off at the end. This really helps the bread to rise up because the pan itself doesn't have signs. So I like to use this pot better. We're not making loaf bread, remember it's not going to be soft for making like nice crusty bread. Our pan, all I did was cut up one of those rounds, you know, like what your home ec teacher showed you how to make. Um, the dough probably won't stick to the bottom anyway, but I put one in here every time, so. Rise and watching my husband try to set the backyard on fire. Really? They finally lifted the burn ban, so tonight there will be s'mores. These are the um, kosher. Oh yeah, we do. I bought chocolate today. Okay. Kosher marshmallows that drove all the way up. Somebody lovingly drove them all the way up to me from Florida. Okay, so it's been an hour. And our bread dough has basically doubled in size. So I'm just going to punch it down and shape it and let it um, rest again. And during this time, I'm going to preheat my oven to 450. So the oven's preheating. I also want this pot to preheat. I will drop our little craft project in it later. For now, I'm just gonna shape the dough. And it feels so nice. All right. So basically, I'm just turning it under. I want a smooth top. And I wanna hide all of the ugly bottom. So I'm just going to keep on doing this and shaping it into a bowl. You can press pause. Ooh, ah, so here's the perfect little um, dough bowl on our parchment paper. We're going to let it rise. I'm going to cover it again. Um, I'll spray it with a little bit of nonstick spray so my tea towel doesn't stick to it. And just before um, we drop it in the pan and put it in the preheated oven, we're gonna slice it a little bit with the knife and sprinkle it with the oatmeal and the sesame seeds so it gets good and gorgeous. A bit longer uh, than the 20 minutes at the store, so the bread got really, really large. I'm just gonna cut it. Um, I'm gonna drop it in the pot first and then I'll cut it and sprinkle it. So I did lots of little cuts with my knife and now I'm just sprinkling it with the sesame seeds and I'm gonna sprinkle it with the oatmeal. And wait till you see how pretty this gets. So I got a little chilly outside at the barbecue, so I had to put my jacket on. Um, I'm just gonna take the my frying pan off the top of the pot and we'll take a peek at the bread because it has been 30 minutes. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, so now I'm turning the temperature down to 375 and we'll cook it for another like 15 minutes and test it and then it's reveal time. Time to get the bread. So as you can see, beautifully golden brown, nicely crusted. Yeah, let me turn off this timer, turn off the oven, and I'm gonna get it out of that pot. I have one pot into another. So beautiful. I was trying to get the bread with like the last vestiges of sun, but uh, it's just a little bit of sun. Anyway, this is our bread. It rose nicely, it browned evenly. It's delicious. I'm an onion in Alaska, and I hope you enjoy this, and I hope you make the bread. You guys stay safe during the hurricane. All right, onions, you got this. This is small. Okay, so the children said I didn't show you the bread when it was cut, so it's cut now, so you can see it. That's just the garage door opening. Can you see it? I'm gonna try and make it clearer. So the, the crust has a nice crunch. Mm. Oh man, stuff to sweep up. The inside is soft. It's good. You'll like it.